Neighbors of a Nanaimo man who was shot by RCMP took the stand at a coroner's inquest today. They described their interactions with Jeffrey Hughes on the day he died, giving the jury some new insight into his frame of mind in the hours leading up to the RCMP surrounding his home. They had been called for a noise complaint, but when they responded, Hughes barricaded himself in his apartment, eventually coming out pointing a weapon. Police found out too late that the weapon was actually a flare gun. A news reporter Steve Coulterman has more on today, today's developments. Neighbors of Jeffrey Hughes attend the second day of the inquest into his death, remembering him as a good neighbor who was always willing to lend a hand. I knew him as a really nice guy. He fixed people's computers for nothing. If they didn't have money, fine. I knew him as a good person. Doreen David recalls the day in October of 2009 that Hughes was shot and killed by Nanaimo RCMP. She says he was angry because a loud party just two doors down from his apartment had kept him awake until the early morning hours. Oh, he just kept putting his hands up and please let me get some sleep, please. He begged him. Jeff was going to my neighbor's apartment and he was telling them to keep the noise down repeatedly and that's when my my friend Jesse hit him in the face and I was trying to hit, help him up from the ground and that's when he got the knee of the face and that's how the trail of blood went to the apartment. The inquest was told that Hughes returned to his apartment and turned his music up loud. The building manager says he tried to contact Hughes several times to turn the music down. Fed up with the noise, he called 911. RCMP arrived on scene and approached Hughes's apartment. The cops kept on knocking on his door repeatedly. The inquest heard that Hughes threatened police and told them he had a firearm. Still dark outside, more officers arrived. Hughes stepped out of his apartment for a second time wearing headphones and pointing a gun with both hands, making his way down a walkway where he began heading towards Selby Street. That's when I heard drop the revolver and repeatedly, repeatedly. And then that's when the first gun bullet went off. And that's when the three, three cops went past my window and that's when they opened fire. Hughes was holding what has now been identified as a flare gun. John Viney doesn't remember the exact number of bullets fired, but feels police could have used other measures. It could have outlaid a little bit more, like they could have tasered them. But in that time, I realized like cops are, you know, you know, they're threatened with their lives and, you know, like they got to react to it. The inquest continues tomorrow at the Nanaimo Courthouse. In Nanaimo, Steve Coulterman, a News.